this very rare and valuable vintage lithograph poster was printed in the mid-1930s and recently got damaged in a hurricane. It came to the Poster Fix studio to get restored. Hi, I'm Zachary and welcome to Poster School. Today we're looking at a rare lithograph from the 1930s of a famous actress, Shirley Temple. Take a look. This poster is worth a lot of money and it was hanging in a restaurant when it got damaged by Hurricane Sandy. Wash my mother, remove the old lining, which is a very painstaking process. Thank you very much, Zachary. We're getting the poster wet on the back. It's got an old piece of paper mounted to the back, which we must remove. And by getting it wet, it comes off if we're very gentle. We have to be gentle with it or else we might rip the poster and we don't want to do that. The poster was backed onto a, an old backing and it was in a frame and it got wet when Hurricane Sandy flooded the restaurant. So we're taking it off this old lining so we can put it on a new lining and repair any damage that occurred from getting the poster wet. And there we have it. Oki has managed to get all the paper off of this vintage Shirley Temple poster. We all know her as Shirley Temple. She was a big star in the 1930s, a child star. Her adult name is Shirley Temple Black, but when she was born, her actual name was Shirley Jane Temple and she was born in 1928 and died in 2014. She was an American actress, singer, dancer, and later a diplomat, who was Hollywood's number one box office draw as a child actress from 1934 to 1938. So you got all the paper off? Yeah. And this is where the... Yeah, yeah. Oh, you could probably restore that with Kaka, but I'll keep it anyway. Now that we got the poster off the lining, my father is going to linen back it. Linen backing is a process where we take a vintage poster and mount it to a piece of acid-free paper and cotton canvas. This process helps the poster get stronger so it can last longer. We're mounting a piece of acid-free paper to a large stretched canvas and this is what we're going to mount the poster to. We're tucking the paper around the edges to get it finished up to receive the poster. Most of the damage in this poster occurred at the bottom. And they purchased this poster at, at an auction, at Heritage Auctions in Texas for $7,000. And it was linen bagged. But then it was, uh, there was a hurricane, as you know, I think Sandy. And uh, the restaurant got flooded. And the backing, the lower portion of the poster got um, damaged and uh, wet. So it uh, came loose from the linen backing on the bottom. So we took the whole thing off the linen backing and now we're going to put it on a new linen backing. Matt, put weights on the screen so it doesn't curl. So this is how it fits on the screen. Shirley Temple began her film career at the age of three in 1931. Two years later, she achieved international fame in Bright Eyes, a feature film produced especially for her talents. She received a special Juvenile Academy Award in February of 1935 for her outstanding contribution as a juvenile performer in motion pictures during 1934. Film hits such as Curly Top and Heidi followed year after year during the mid to late 1930s. Shirley Temple capitalized on licensed merchandise 
that featured her wholesome image. The merchandise included dolls, dishes, and clothing. Her box office popularity waned as she reached adolescence. She appeared in 29 films from the ages of 3 to 10, but in only 14 films from the ages of 14 to 21. Shirley Temple retired from film in 1950 at the age of 22. So this piece, it's a, first of all, it's a lithograph, I think, from, nine, from the 30s. I'm not sure exactly what year. Somewhere in the 30s. She was the number one movie star during the Depression. Not just the number one child star, but the number one movie star, period. And then later, she became an ambassador as an adult, Shirley Temple Black, and did a lot of work for the United States and foreign countries. In the 80s, she was in the news a lot. Was that her real name? Shirley Temple was her real name. Can you believe it? And then as an adult, she... I guess it's just so iconic, it became larger than her own. Yeah, and she was Shirley Temple Black as an adult, which was her <laughs> married name. And, uh, yeah, iconic is right. Um, it's also rare to see such good lithography as this portrait lithography, which was more popular in the 1890s, 1910. But this is the 1930s when lithography was kind of going out of style already, but yet this is an American movie. Post in 1958, Shirley Temple returned to show business with a two-season television anthology series of fairy tale adaptions. She made guest appearances on television shows in the early 1960s and filmed a sitcom pilot that was never released. She sat on the boards of corporations and organizations, including the Walt Disney Company, Del Monte Foods, and the National Wildlife Federation. This has to be slid up. Yes. from Florida? Yeah. South Florida. Oh, interesting. Well, they have an accent in South Florida. Yeah, I, th I think you're right. There's a lot of people in Florida that don't have a southern accent. Not in Northeast. Unless you go to... Not in Northeasterners. Yeah, I know. Unless you go to you go to Jupiter, Florida, though, they can really... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, if you go down to Tallahassee, well, up to Tallahassee, <laughs> Yeah, you can wipe down everything. It's just good to get rid of the paste on the side first. Yes. Because it's it'll spread around.
Dry the sponge and I mean squeeze out the sponge and then you can turn the screen one more time. Not bad. Not the easiest way to do it though. is now linen back and they're going to let it dry for a few days before they trim it down. Before we continue I just want to say if you have questions about restoring your posters you can do one of two things either come here in person in which case we have to send you a pass or send my dad an email tell him the size tell him the condition and send a few photos and we'll get back to you with the price for restoration. Now let's get back to this project. It is at this point in the project where I'm going to take some sandpaper and go to these areas in the margin where I put in some paper pulp. This area needs to be touched up color enhanced. Now I'm going to take watercolor pencils. Watercolor pencils come in many, many different colors and variations of colors and shades and I'm using these pencils to try to enhance the color which washed out when the poster was damaged in the hurricane. This will restore the color in a very non-evasive or non-aggressive way. It'll be very subtle, hopefully, and it won't be noticed because the intention is to blend the restoration colors in with the original colors. And I'm purposely using water-based pencils as opposed to oil-based pencils because if I were to use oil-based pencils it would cause discoloring to occur in the touch-up at a later time as the oil seeps out of the pencil and stains the paper. So it's very important to use watercolor pencils when doing this kind of color enhancement to an old lithograph. This lithograph is probably printed around 1935 or 36 37, just around the time Shirley Temple was a very, very big star. My parents loved Shirley Temple whenever her movies came up on TV when I was a kid in the 1960s. My mother would be very enthusiastic, so would my grandmother. Oh, I eat watermelon and I have four years sing Polly Wally Doodle all day. I like watermelon, but it wets my ears. Sing Polly Wally Doodle all a day. Maybe grass tastes good to a moot cow's mouth. Sing Polly Wally Doodle all a day. But I like chicken, cause I'm from the south. Sing Polly Wally Doodle all a day. Very well, very well, very well, very well. Mr. Gloom, be on your way. If you think you're gonna worry, you can stop it in a hurry. Sing Polly Wally Doodle all a day. Till he gets his fill, sing Polly Wally Doodle all a day. But the woodpecker pays, cause it's on his bill, sing Polly Wally Doodle all a day. Oh, I feed my pigs with molasses yam, sing Polly Wally Doodle all a day. So they should be sweeter than they really am, sing Polly Wally Doodle all a day. Fare thee well, fare thee well, fare well. Mr. Gloom, be on your way. Though you haven't any money, you'll still be bright and sunny, sing Polly Wally Doodle all a day. Farewell. 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 Farewell.
Shirley Temple began her diplomatic career in 1969 when she was appointed to represent the United States at a session of the United Nations General Assembly, where she worked at the U.S. mission under Ambassador Charles W. Yost. In 1988, she published her autobiography, Child Star. Shirley Temple was the recipient of numerous awards and honors, including the Kennedy Center Honors and a Screen Actors Guild Life Achievement Award. She is 18th on the American Film Institute's list of the greatest female American screen legends of classic Hollywood cinema. Well, that about wraps it up for today's edition of Poster School. I hope you enjoyed watching us restore this Shirley Temple poster. I want to shout out two of my friends. First, Wyatt Powers, who has a prominent YouTube channel. Make sure to check it out. It's called The Super Bros. Secondly, I also want to shout out Diamond Ling, who has helped spread my channel in my school. Thank you so much, Diamond. So make sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time at Poster School. Bye!